Level 3 Calling Blade, pretty much. Yeah. Not working. <laughs> Very small window you have for it. I mean, I think if you take damage that's like equal to... Uh, like, you can get lower than the 400 threshold if you get a one-hit burst of damage that does a lot. You can also one-shot uh, an Abaddon, but you, I, if I'm not mistaken, but then you need to hit, like, a 500 damage spell when he has 450 HP or something. Yeah, there's some interactions, like, if you silver edge him, he needs to press it, because then it's not a passive anymore. And you can only press it if he's and, not silenced. Yeah. So you need Silver Edge plus Silence, and then you can make sure that his ulti doesn't go off. So, uh, it's an interesting one on exactly how it's going to work out. But I do have a lot of faith in the bat, and I think this might be a 2-0 for TSM. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how good a baton can be against Duza. I believe the one we casted, they were at the same team. So, want to see how this one-to-one -one interaction goes. Yeah, but even the Wind Ranger, if Brawl gets a Diffusal Blade, for instance, can kill off the Dusa pretty... Well, I wouldn't say easily, but definitely can kill off the Dusa. They don't have any big saves on the side of LGD. Whereas TSM, they do have the Burrow Time, Aphotic Shield, and the Disruption Save. Yeah, when you think about, let's say, the spells raw, they're not really saves, but definitely you can save Duza with, for example, the Taser on her. You can always stomp on top of her. So there are tools to delay Medusa death. Yeah, but most of the time you just dodge Deuce in the fight, kill everyone else. Yeah. Which I think in this game, especially because you have an Abaddon, is probably going to be their game plan. Just kill off the supports quickly. And go for the Ember. You Demonic Purge the Ember. He cannot run away with the Fire Remnants because he's slowed too heavily. They have tools. And White Mon is playing the Shadow Demon. We've seen how fast he is in his response with that Bane. Shadow it's Demon is a very decently close idea of Bane. Yeah. And again, they have the Beastmaster winged heroes that are definitely their comfort. Let's say Kasane on Beastmaster, it's his best hero together with Lycan. So, yeah, TSM, they have the tools and it's under their comfort. I can see them snowballing. Although, I am a big Medusa believer. Planet, so much faith. Damage. And the dullest hero the world has ever seen. Well, not the dullest. <laughs> DK is the dullest hero. By far. Nothing says having a very good time in mid. Like up against Brile. Brile is getting his bottle delivered now, though. So that should definitely help sustain. But last hitting for nothing to say is looking pretty easy peasy. Yeah, so far, so good for the Amber. The wink was all oh, the first blood. Incutimado. Oh, Tech is winning his lane. Who would have thought that's such a surprise? That's new. Tech is a lane dominator? Nah, it can't be true. It has to on be the meta, a, an illusion. You usually want to win side lanes and win game? Hmm. It's also the reason why Bat, for instance, was banned out by LGD because Bat is one of the other lane winning position fours. Yeah. The flame break is kind of stupid how far it pushes you back. I'd say Takis needs nerfs on attack range or maybe move speed so his trades are not so good. But mostly attack range or mana cost on the spells. Everything. Just nerf everything. It's that simple. Ah. I'd say one thing can be enough. If you take out 50 attack range, it's already a lot. Go I think it's the, the combination with blood grenade. Very small things. You get slow with sticky bomb, and then blood grenade slow, and then the blast off on top of you. Like, you can't move. And then it's the easiest blast off stun. Yeah. That's what he's planning. 
shield. Use up against Shadow Demon, so it's a little bit rougher, because yeah. he can just disrupt most of the time. He already Beers. used it, though. Top side is uh, an interesting affair, but currently it's looking pretty decent for LGD's laning stage. Tomato is struggling, gets stunned up top side, has the healing self at the ready. But the blood grenade, oh, he dispels. Yeah, nice aphotic shield usage. And Kazani Ari... bottom is also struggling. Yeah, but Ari stole the water room from nothing to say. That's a huge deal. Because now he will lack resources on the lane that he was dominating. Just get one of your supports to die in TP. Yeah. Always a choice. It's always good value. Speaking of which, nothing to say. Sorry, why you smile? Tried to get the stomp in on Tekasane, but he dodges it. Does have 14 magic wand charges, so it'll be just fine most of the time. But with the vitality booster coming soon for that Vanguard, he should be able to survive. Same with New, who's getting close to his Vanguard because every single off laner builds the same boring item. Yeah. Meanwhile, both support force stacking. Difference is ET is following the Rubik, so he has to cancel. Both are cancelled as well. Yeah, with a sentry and the body. So not a bad job there, making sure that there's the, the recovery is a little bit rougher for the Beastmaster, considering uh, Baden is not really good at taking jungle camps and, and ranging either. Yeah, it's primarily but, for the Beastmaster. But both of LGD are also pre-blocked with sentries, so yeah. Both support for us wasting their time. Yeah, that's uh, not ideal. Not the, nonetheless, they weren't really needed in their lane anyway. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, as you mentioned about the Vanguard item, you just free to stay there. I kind of connected the topics without really talking about the item, but that's the thing. Like, you allow your position forward to do whatever. DP is coming in mid lane. Going for that six minute rune. It's an arcane rune picked up by Bryal. Nothing to say. Should be able to find a, oh, indeed White Mon taken down. They'll get a kill, but no bottle. Free refill with a nice uh, rune there for nothing to say. Yeah, good TP from the ET. He's gonna scout the top lane, takes the watcher. There's a ward on him, so Kimado very likely gonna retreat. Can he? Oh, the stun connects. Not enough though. Uh, silence comes out onto the axe. Tomato charging for the possible kill. Brawl TP through. And the Ooh. axe with the call. He's trying to get the damage in onto Brawl, but won't work out because Brawl will be able to snipe him down. White Mom from the side comes through, but there is nothing to say. The big one, the bully, trying to get the stomp in onto Tomato. Nothing to say. Gets that kill secured. Now White Mom's White on the wrong side of the track. He needs to dip out. He's trying to get Shadow Poison stacks in onto Planet, but Planet's too far gone and too little stacks received so it's a double kill great rotation from nothing to say yeah they brought more numbers while Ari was guaranteeing his xp room they were able to bring more numbers in this trade looked like a good tp coming from brio but of course nothing to say also could join the fight uh, shiro's got some nice uh, visuals on the do so he is second in net worth and not hampered at all in his farming spree. Top net worth yeah. is nothing to say, so it is a very scary start with all three cores of LGD at the top. Yeah, and seems like this axe is a lot of trouble for the Abaddon last pick. So, I, I don't see Timado farming so well. Kasana having trouble oh, to get farm also around in. the rune it got picked up by nothing to say they blast off Bryle. Ari is going to be the next one hunted and white mon will be a third one because nothing Going to for say one more yeah there's not really a reason to stop chasing oh he cut it three spells already nicely my kill on planet nah planet's going to stay alive nah. still had a magic wand and a fairy fire at the ready nothing to say double kill secured and you're honestly making this game look pretty easy for LGD. 4k ahead. 
It's gonna be the fifth or sixth tie from TSM in the tournament. Yeah, it's looking very much like that's going to be the case. And if that's the case, then it's really gonna come down to the last match TSM have, uh, which would be tomorrow. And that is against, of course, Team Liquid. Yeah, it's the match they gotta win. The only eliminated uh, team from the tournament so far, Team Liquid, seeding 2-0 on the Group A. While four teams are five and five. Yeah, that's not really uh, what we'd expect from T uh, Liquid, to be fair. Unfortunately, we don't get to cover them a single game. So, bit sad, no Nisha. But they're gonna go in. White Mon is gonna get stunned up by Planet. And what can they realistically do? Abaddon doesn't have Boro time leveled. He's gonna charge in. His closest is level 7. While you smile, we'll be finished off. And nothing to Good say. Kill. Should be able to run away. But they're falling behind so much because Shiro is just AFK farming bottom. While all of this is going on. Yeah, and Beastmaster is also... He will have the ancient farm, so let's say kind of keeping up with the Dusa, considering he was 1k behind for the last five minutes. So he's still farming on a good manner, but he needs this agony to take part in the game. So he's really far away from it. I don't know if maybe he want to consider the Dominator, given there's no Enchantress on the enemy team. He could go for that super creep. But uh, the decision is the Agony, so it's a huge downtime. You can see damage dealt, 234 on Kasane. Basically, he's playing PvP, playing some RPG I, I there. I mean, it kind of makes sense because you tend to not do damage to Dusa. Dusa's damage yeah. is the mana, so it wouldn't count as damage taken. Yeah, but that's like the lane trades. So it means basically he didn't yeah. do afterwards he hasn't done lane. anything yeah. but still it, it it's a very weird statistic if you consider that it's not really damage that they take yeah but those are zero deaths so i'd say no matter the damage it was done through mana neil yeah playing Bryo, getting a kill Bryo does find himself a catch he's going for that there's uh, a smoke rod of Atos, of course a bit late on this smoke from lgd so really good kill from TSM. They get a kill. They dodge the smoke. For a team that was 4k behind. Oh, they find White Mount. Can he kite the stun? No. Yeah, there's nothing. Level you can five do, especially still. if Techies is behind you. Planet's now level 6. He's got those proximity mines at the ready. So more damage to be thrown out. Nothing to say. He's very close to finishing up his Millstrom. Yeah, How are you going to stop him? Bryo. So Jackal shot connects and nothing to say. But they don't actually have much more to throw out onto the uh, Ember. Who does still have a Fire Remnant lying about? Double damage empowers me. Yeah. Axe has one item on the cooler. What's that? It's a dagger. Planet does get caught. Tomato on the other side and that should be Planet gone. One thing that they do have an advantage of, well, a, a decent shot at is, for instance, taking Roche with TSM's lineup. They have a Beastmaster, a Baden, and a Wind Ranger. So early Roche should definitely be in their cards if they can make a bit of space on the map. Yeah, and it's this 15 to 20 minute Roche is on the dire side, so they should feel happy doing it early on. I wonder what Axe is going to do with his dagger. Kill people. I think. Here's I the, the smoke. Plan. Yeah, here's the smoke. Oh, Kasane. He's running away. He knows something's coming his direction. But do they expect the smoked up axe? White Mon is going to break the smoke. Immediately throws out the disruption. Will get jumped afterwards and Mune still gets himself the axe. Call on nice the call. two. War gets thrown up, but a great Earth Splitter comes in, responds. New needs to disengage. Kasane can he get any damage in. Nice denying of that bomb explosion. But Brial underneath the tower should be slighted out of existence. Kasane oh, is going to be the next to one. In comes the TP from Tomato, who's a little bit late Godlike, to the party. Nothing to say. 
Can he get and the damage in? It needs to explode. No, it does One not explode. Photic shield a bit too far. He's actually going for the radiance on this abaddon, by the way. A slightly different build than we normally see. Yeah, maybe we'll help him farm scale against the Medusa. He realizes he cannot fight the early fights. They're so behind, so. I mean, it would be possible, but that TP was too late. Yeah, it would have been one kill. In exchange, I believe. Yeah, oh, maybe he could maybe the have saved Kasane. Kasane was doing a lot of damage, but has to go back. He almost killed Planet. Yeah, they're 9k behind right now. It's LGD that's in uh, full control of this game. And another tie seems just in the cards. Oh, they stop hitting the Avedon. Otherwise, Potic Shield could have popped. Yeah. No luck coming in. The supports of LGD are also pretty decently farmed behind it. So Another a smoke's coming. Big on issue. The dagger. Bryo very close to his timing. The Atos just one creep. By the way, nothing to say built up the Vanguard because of course he wants to go Oxarine as well. But building the Vanguard already so that it's very hard to kill off the Ember who is a 9 kill streak. So he's making sure that he will not lose that big streak. Jump call from Ryu. Nice, nice save, save attempt from White Mom, but is it going to be enough? He's trying to wind run back to save the shock shot onto nothing to say. He's dropping pretty quickly, but the stomp comes through. Earth Splitter on top as well. Brawl, does he get dragged back? No, he does not, but he is still ticking down. Slight of fist to finish the job, and Shiro is on the other side, lying in wait. Tomato gets called health in place. He's going to get smacked. The roar from Kasane comes out. But will he even get the kill is the question. Why you smile with the stomp onto Kasane? Interrupts the roar. The axe is coming Good through. And Kasane is the last one standing, walking back to base. And it's going to be a big, fat fight again in favor of LGD, who are just showing a completely different game plan than last game. Yeah, amazing team fight from LGD. A bit easier to execute when they are 10k ahead, but definitely very well executed. Shiro very close to his butterfly. Then I would believe they get Aegis and just run tower to tower. And TSM, what can they do? Cut waves, get illusions with SD and hope your illusions man fight the enemy team. You're talking uh, about the Vank so pickup, close. really good against Wind Ranger. Focus fire, a lot of hits with small damage. So the damage block is really good. Yeah, that pickup saved his life in that fight. He would have otherwise definitely died. So it's a very heads up move coming out from nothing to say. And he's also almost done with the Octarine, so he can just split it open in a sec. Jumps in onto Kasane. Who still does not have his Ags done. Called. It's a dead Kassan. And killed. Dunk comes in. Easy extra armor. Butterfly. Medusa knocking your door. LGD. They at least want to see some TPs back. Or they might just get a kill. Here's the free kill. Yeah, White Mon's another one. No dunk this time. Axe doesn't manage to get that extra armor. That's how fast Shame. SD dies. Timado trying to hit the mid tower, trading a tier 1 for a tier 3. He does have Sacred Relic now, but yeah, you're gonna have what, a 19, 20 minute Radiance? Well, maybe 18. Sure, nah, 19. TP is back in. They don't want to force this high ground yet. 18 minute rune. It's gonna be a haste for nothing to say. And Brile going for that Diffusal Blade, as you mentioned. A very good tool against Dusa. But with that evasion that Dusa already has, it becomes a little bit more problematic. Yeah, not enough. Not enough to do with the Dusa. They barely have enough to do with the Illusions. I don't know if oh, we can White put Mom. Negan. 
they're really getting their revenge for that game one against White Mon. Nothing he went from the player that was control. uncatchable to the player that's caught every single time. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for XP runes, he would be sitting on the level five still. He's one nine one. Well, Radiance at least is done on Tomato, and the Ags on Kasane. So they have some decent damage, especially if do, uh, the Wind Ranger builds up their Fusal Blade. They can kill some heroes, but they're gonna need, you know, a, a bit of Copium, Hopium coming through. Trying to the bulb. They know what's coming. Roche is already Walking dead before time. they reach it. They still wanna fight. Is this all in or nothing? Yeah, maybe if they get they a good have a catch. Good Shiro's got the ages though. He's actually going MKB second, uh, third item. Why Smiles dropping low to Bryle. Power shot comes in, kill gets secured. And Kasane's got the roar at the ready, but Shiro dodges it with the Manta right there. It takes too long for Kasane to get the roar off and the drums will not be able to do anything in the process. Tomato's borrow time gets popped, slept, and will be just finished off afterwards by Shiro, the hero. Doesn't have to hit any Chronos this time around. Just Already right click, right click, right the click. Rune, but nothing to say. Might find him. Not really well, faded by the illusion. That's <laughs> actually really well his, done because he, yeah. the Watcher, of course, gives away vision. They just killed Rose, so the Watcher is activated. And then the Watcher goes up towards the high ground. Uh, the illusion goes up towards the high ground where they know that the Radiant have vision. It's actually pretty heads up. Clever move from Ari. I don't know why the Watcher is dire colored though. That's weird. Probably a bug. Here's Raiden for me. Oh, for me it's dire colored, so that's kind of strange. But yeah, this Manta dodge here from Shiro, the moment that the Roar is about to come out, so nice. Because it disjoins the Roar attempt. He has to refine the target, delays everything just a bit longer. No now maxing in the team fight, that is just chaos. The discipline game, although they're so ahead, they want to take all the towers outside of the base, get the, this extra gold, extra vision in the map. So you just go high ground with more items. No need to hurry. They don't go for the wisdom rune still. Maybe they believe this high ground is the only chance of TSM to come back. They want to play the low ground. Jump, Guy jumps Gabadon. tomato, drag him back. And borrow time's about to get popped. And demonic purge on the side from nothing to say. Going in onto nothing to say is Bryle. Shackle shot to keep them occupied. Roar gets thrown out. They used everything. They didn't catch anything. And it is tomato that gets smacked down on the side. White Mon gets stunned up. Buyback from the Abaddon. Is it going to be enough? Shiro is running out of mana, but he still has that Aegis, of course, at the ready. They already found two kills. Where's Make that three kills. No borrow time. And that is the GG Waiting right base. there, right then. <laughs> yep. Yes. They just got snowballed on. Out drafted. Out drafted, out played. A lot of out played. And honestly, we can say, oh, it's a Medusa without answers, but they were already. 9k ahead when Medusa took 